Rooted in Love show. Life spoken from the roots of those who adapt to reach the sunlight. We stay rooted in love. We stay grounded. We get our strength from above. We stay rooted. We stay rooted in love. We stay grounded. Robinson Boys. I'm Mario Robinson, one of your hosts. I'm here with Emmett Robinson and Gerald yeah, Robinson. We in here. And we're here with Cole BB, Mr. Willis Thompson. Mr. Thompson. What's going on, guys? Cole BB, man. We everywhere. Yeah, <laughs> uh, Hey, but really though, I, I I really I like when you was doing like I was following you on Facebook. I would see your videos you put out. Okay. And like like I I, I really respected how you would promote your company and branding, not just your company, but yourself. Oh, thank that's you. one of the lessons I try to give people when I'm teaching my clients about branding. Right. You will be amazed at the amount of people that got really good business. Right. But they don't, they don't want to be the face of their business. Uh-huh. And I always tell them like, if you're not gonna be the face, you got you better hire somebody. You somebody need gotta be do something. Somebody gotta be out. But yes. um, oh yeah, yeah. Like the code BB. Like what what does the BB stand for? Um, code BB actually stands for Code Best Business. So it's Code Best Business, a pest control company. So. When I actually um, put that into place, I was like thinking. I was thinking to myself, eventually, I'm going to have other things under it. So okay. now it's COVID viricide treatments that I also have as well. Okay. Okay. Um, so right. so okay. I'm branching it so out a little bit. Visionary, more. Yeah, you already thinking, bit, thinking yeah. ahead. Yeah. So I'm already thinking like, okay, the idea, the the idea is best business. So I want to try to give the best service because I think that right there is the void that is missing between your major companies and your smaller companies you got to get the best service right yeah. for the best price too. For the best price so um like give us that background on, mm-hmm. on how just how you decided to go your own right go out on your own you say i know in the past episode you said you was working with orkin yes i, I used to work with orkin um shout out to orkin pest control all the guys that's going to be watching this man um i want to also say this orkin is a great company to learn from it's a very good company to learn from. Um, you know, they give you structure. Okay. You know, they give you really good structure. They've been doing it for, you know, they've been doing it since I think 1908 or 18. Y'all don't, y'all don't quote me on that. But it's yeah, something no, out of Orkin actually started Orkin before the Rollins family actually bought Orkin out. So the Rollins family um, is the one that actually bought Orkin and took it to the next level. Uh, Orkin, which is auto Orkin, is the actual person that came up with the concept of pest control, meaning that this is how we get rid of bugs. Oh, really? So that's the actual reason. It might have been some of the first people to ever get into the The very business. first. The very first. And they oh, just wow. took it, and they just took it to a whole other level. He's the one that broke down that pest control down to a science. Right. That's where he came. That's where that whole thought process actually mm-hmm. came from. And that, that kind of carries on in the Rollins family. Yeah, you know, they pretty much have pushed it on. I think they're located in Atlanta, Georgia. So this this ain't that you went to school for anything like that. You just decided, uh, like you went to work from, you just basically started learning on a job. Um, well, I had an opportunity. Um, uh, I had an opportunity through my uh, one of my friends that still works at Orkin um, in the commercial, in the residential slash commercial side. Uh, he actually, um, he gave me a shot. Oh, nice. it's, it's It's very interesting because he believed in me enough uh, when they told me that it was a no. Got it. And it wasn't a no off of my own merit of who I am. It was just a no that it cost six thousand um, dollars at the um at the copyright of this particular uh production right now. It's six thousand dollars to actually to train somebody. And the branches, the actual branches that are different the different branches which are places where the technicians are okay they actually have to pay for oh, their themselves for their so they would rather if they're shorthanded to bring somebody in that's already trained than to actually hire somebody in Got fresh because it. it's sense. a six thousand dollar hit mm-hmm. so um by the time that happened to me they was like we'd rather just bring somebody in but i went through all the the uh interviews the interviews that they had i think someone was in california i had to go to i mean it was like extensive background check oh, wow. that they want you to have because you're in the people's oh, homes yeah, you're oh, in the right. and, 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 and then the brand is such a big brand we're talking about orkin being a billion dollar company so um 
basically, you know, he stood up for me. Um, Ordie Williams, shout out to Ordie right there, man. He actually stood up for me and um, went over there and spoke to the commercial side, which I was going for the residential side, residential with houses. He actually stood up for me in the commercial side and said that I know a guy, he's a really good guy and he pushed it. And then from that point on, I lined up with the commercial side, started doing commercial pest control, which is some of the buildings down that actually had all downtown Atlanta, which is the Western Hotel, W Hotel. This is me, one person oh, wow. in the whole hotel. We're talking 72 floors, 24, 24 rooms on each floor, five or six different kitchens, five or six different bars. Was that weekly? Like you had to go weekly? I had to go, <laughs> I had to make it happen. You know, okay. so we talking about sometimes two times a week naturally, but then if they call you one o'clock, two o'clock in the morning, you're going. Gotcha. And um, that right there is a humbling experience by itself. By and itself. it's a learning curve by itself because you're talking to people that are very, have way more education than you do. And they're looking towards you to make sure that their hotel stays running. Right. So mm -hmm. that is a very interesting thing. Um, matter of fact, one of the guys that were in the hotel, interesting story. His name is uh, Jasmine. Shout out to Jasmine if you ever actually see this. Uh, uh, this actually, because people think he's a female, but he's actually a guy. Yeah. Um, and he was telling me before, I remember when I first came in with the account and um, I was waiting outside because there was so many important people that were, he was talking to um, in the area that were over facilities, the bar, the, uh, the, the, the center, the meeting room, they were over all these different places. So I was just kind of standing back and letting him get through talking to all he's talking, all the people he's talking to. And he told everybody to leave. Everybody leave. Will is here. <laughs> that's what he said and I was like oh man so I walked in there and I sat down and I was like you know I could have waited he said no 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 everybody else can wait that works here you are the most important person here Central. and I was like well why am I the most important person here he said because if you don't do your job this hotel will shut down Just like that. I said wow he said, if there's bugs in here, it's going to shut down. If there's bed bugs in here, it's going to shut down. If the gnats is flying all over the bar, the drinks and everything, it's going to shut down. Nothing works without you making it happen. So if you don't do your job, understand you're the most important person in here. I need to hear from you directly what's going on. You tell us what to do. You are the expert. So that already kind of puts you in a different kind of mind frame. Mm -hmm. Going back to Orkin being the company, shout out to Orkin, very good company because they they had us they had us to have the confidence to be able to go in there and to be able to puff your chest out and then be able right. to speak knowledgeable about what you're doing. That's that's great training right there. Great training. Great training. Yes. Stuff I didn't get into. I I don't you know I went I went to college so I, I'm at an MBA level. Right. But none of those degrees taught me the things I learned just dealing directly with my customers. Right. Yeah. And they couldn't. You know, they, you just can't learn that in a classroom. Right, I right. from a guy like that, doing that electrostatic painting, what about just being well-versed in what you do. Yes. You come in and somebody, they ask you anything, they know you that expert. Yes. And, and they can depend on you. That's very important to have. Right. It, it, it sounds like, because you, you've been telling us about even some of the training that you're doing. Now right. You, now you want to train other people. But it, it, it seems like you understand the importance of the educational aspect of your business. Correct. Um, people don't, <laughs> when you're in the service business, when you're in the service business, people don't pay you to be there. They pay you to get the job done. Right. So you can be doing, <laughs> you can be somewhere for five to 10 hours, but they paid you to get the job done. Mm -hmm. So as you basically been there five to 10 hours, it looks good. It even might make you feel good. But when if, if they if you go home and a week later and it's not what it says it is, they don't care about none of that. Right. They have. They, I don't care. No, it is what you did is not working. So I push education, especially um, smart pest tech. Um, that's something that I'm um, actually got going is rolling out now too. Um, that's something that I'm pushing because the actual technicians need to understand that when you in front of a customer. It's certain things that you need to do. Subscribe to the Rooted in Love show for weekly updates and free giveaways. When you in front of a customer, it's certain things that you need to do.
-hmm. You have to put your you got to put your uh, yourself in the mindset of the customer. First off, the customer don't know what you're talking about. That's the first right. thing. So you not you have to actually take it down. So when you say certain terms, how can you break it down? You got to break it down so they can actually. Get we it. all That's have a first. lingo and everything. Our special specialty right. in what we do. You have to. So even though you want to speak the, the, the jargon of your of your uh, yeah, of your peers, yeah. that yeah. doesn't go over well when you're talking to. Um, the housewife, That's or you're right. talking to the They husband. don't know, and they really don't oh, they care. Don't think you, you they, yeah, they don't care. They, they, just don't know, care. they just know, I just seen a bug, and I need to go. That's really the extent of what they know. Right. Now, the funny thing about what you just said is, they don't care <laughs> until they do care. Right. right. And when they do care is when they are trying to shush you. You're, you're explaining it to them, but they're trying to push you over. It's like, uh, yeah, it's going to take care of it, right? See, that is something that I, you have to kind of teach your, your technicians because even though they don't want to hear it, you need to basically line up with them and say, I understand, but let me just tell you this. Because if you don't say these words, you don't say these things to them, a week later, they like, why well, I still got bugs? But you told them it's going to take 14 to 21 days to get rid of your bugs. But if you never really have that conversation, right? That's true. I can see that. Now you got people calling you outright, and now they're thinking that you're basically trying to make up for what you didn't do. Yeah, that's so, why um, you have to give them expectations. That's a lot, a lot, a lot of lot of like that. involved yeah. in this industry. Oh my goodness! Like, how, how do you deal with that? How do you get around like the either, either lawsuits or just customer complaints? Like, how do you deal with a customer issue? Well, the first thing I do is, is um, I always use the best products. Okay. I always use the best products. I use the top products on the market because as being a uh, up and coming business, small business, up and coming business, you don't have room. Right. There's no room for things not going the way it's supposed to go. So the training that I have from Orkin in the commercial field, they don't have room because you're dealing with people's livelihood. When you see a business that you're treating, you need to see son's tuition you need to see mom, the mom you need to see the father basically their hard-earned money you right. need to see their investment you need to see their forward okay all, all that right. stuff is what you see when you see their business because this is what this is how they eat this is how they right. pay for their kids uh education this is how basically they live their lives they can't afford to have somebody snapchatting the bug put it on social media and then they lose revenue for like two or three weeks and then next thing you know they end up shutting down Right. So it becomes very, very vital, basically not having bugs and being able to get the job done the first time. Yeah. So that's why I use the best of products because one, I understand that I'm dealing with people's livelihoods. And two, two, the main thing is that this is a social world. Mm -hmm. So everybody Big talks and yeah. bad news travels 10 times faster than good news. <laughs> it's the first yeah. thing you know. It's the first thing. I mean, people literally go through the, uh, go, when they go on Amazon, and we probably have all have done it. We're going to Amazon and we look for the bad reviews. Yeah. We go past all the good reviews. One and, and 200 good reviews. And we looking for the bad yeah. review because, because we true. want to see what That's the true. worst I case that. scenario I is. That. I ain't gonna lie, I do that. Now, I will say this as anybody, uh, being around long enough, you're gonna have some problems in, in business, but what people are looking for, they're not looking for as much as the bad review. They're looking for how the bad review was responded to. See, that's what I see. That's I, what when I, I when I go on um even your apps like Yelp and things like that. Mm -hmm. I love when I see a business respond, Gotta respond. to a negative post. Right. And some of them are very creative. And without coming yeah. back. Yeah, 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 it's, 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 yeah. It's, it's almost uh it's uh Collateral damage, quality control. Yeah. And it's basically what that is. And that's something that I push with my technicians. Uh, quality control. Yeah. You know, when they actually do a service at a person's house, they get paid a certain amount. But off of that certain amount, you get the other percentage based on the questions that are asked that I'm going to do the calling. So even though you're getting service, I call and I ask certain questions like, was the person on time? Were they uh, professionally dressed? Um, did you, if you did interact with the actual technician, were they knowledgeable? Did they know what they were talking about? Right. Did they explain the service to you? All of these questions get asked because that's quality control. So it's more than just about getting the customer. It's about basically keeping the customer. Right. So it, you can get all day, but you got to be able to keep. 
So that's something that, you know, you want to try to focus on too. And that's something that we focus oh, on with Kobe B, keeping our customers happy. And I know you got, you spoke, you, you spoke about some things that you have going, like, take some minutes, some minutes now, like, tell us what's, what's next. Like, what, what do you see in the future for Kobe B and, and what are you doing to get there? Um, the future for Kobe B, um, uh, basically, uh, it has an organic reach. And these are all the people that I actually pretty much know, people that I know on Facebook and mm -hmm. things like that. And then I deal with a lot of different business owners, or up and coming business owners. So that is, has been the reach so far. But as I branch out and become a, a bigger entity, um, what has happened is I'm bringing more people into it. I'm getting more of a social presence. And um, as one of the people, as my son, as you record in the background, shout out to Willis Thompson over there recording yeah, over there, yeah. you know, in the background, shout out to you, baby. So <laughs> um, these are things that um, are good skills and good traits to take over because believe it or not, these things are life and death. It's life. Right. It's really life and death. Right. You put the wrong chemicals in someone's home, you can kill them. Yeah. Right. You can kill them. You, you mix the wrong thing up and spray it in someone's okay. home, you can kill their fish. You can kill their pet. You can kill their dog. You can even harm their baby yeah, if you're not doing what you're supposed to do. Right. You know, so you have to, it, it's it's very important that you do what you're supposed to do. Um, the virus side service, COVID-19 treatment. Uh, COVID-19 treatment, shout out to anybody that's out there doing the COVID treatments. Very, very interesting thing. Right, um, but I do want to explain this right here. There is a difference between a COVID treatment and a deep clean. It right. is not the same and that's no shade on anybody who chooses to do deep clean because I think that is also needed too in the COVID-19 treatment. The COVID treatment, okay, is basically, first off, let's just go ahead and break that down. Simple. COVID is a bug. It's a bug. COVID-19 is a bug. 19 is the year that it actually uh, was actually surfaced, but it's an actual bug. It's a real live bug. OK, just like a virus, just like bacteria. Bacteria is a bug as well. You put heat and you give it a solid area. You get you add a little bit of pressure, a little moisture to it. It'll create a fly out the air, right out the air. That's what basically bacteria is. So you got COVID-19 is a live bacteria and it sits on the surface for a certain amount of time. Yeah. OK, exactly. so what happens is, is basically that a treatment has to be happen, has to happen because if a treatment is not happening, when you touch something, it's still sitting there if you actually have COVID. Now, what about a deep clean? Well, if you would say, well, it's if it's a bacteria, won't a deep clean take care of that? No, there's only one product that usually pest control professionals have that actually can take care of COVID-19. There's only one product on yep. the market, just one, just one that is labeled for it. Mm -hmm. Now, what's the difference between COVID-19 and that actually just COVID that you see that's on like, Lights all, 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 all yeah, yeah. yeah, get into it. Talk no, about no, no, no. it. That's for dogs. Oh, really? Yeah, that's for dogs. So that's something they said they little wild. So, so ball, ball in lights off. That's for dogs. <laughs> Bro, COVID is wild. for real. There's dude. COVID dog. Uh -huh. That's different strands. COVID for dogs, and then there's COVID nineteen. That's for people. Two different things. One's for dogs. One's for people. So the lights all that you have. That's not going to take care of COVID-19. That takes care of COVID, which is the same that they have for dogs. You can backtrack that and also- They call that free game, game what he just gave y'all. Yeah, because a lot game. of folks don't know that. Right. It's just up there buying up products. I was watching the news and got, hey, lights all, and we wiping counters down. You, see, you, you see, mean the lights all white not working? No, no, no. I mean, you see those companies, Johnson & Johnson, like all those cleaning companies, stocks just shot all the way up. Yeah, they, they don't, don't know. People and, don't know. Uh, yeah, wow. people just bought that stuff. Now they just kind of settled down a little bit. Like now, it's people that got basements and garages full of Ooh, lights all like they do. They cleaning product. product. Well, they still probably need to call you. Yeah, and they, exactly, and they still get it. Yeah, still got it. See, let me tell you this right here: good. COVID, COVID nineteen. The I commend you guys for actually coming out there, putting it out there that when the one of you guys had actually caught it, mm. and then y'all got past it. Thank the Lord that you guys got oh, past yes, that. Sir. But I'm sorry. Period. Um, COVID-19, it seemed to be a social issue. People yeah. get it and don't say nothing. Right. Yep. They don't, they don't say anything. They don't want to, they don't want to be judged by their peers. Right. Or and they feel shamed about it. Some can't afford it because they don't want to, they, they can't pass the time at work. So now they're right. thinking about, I can't pay my bills. Right. And we made a decision to say, we want to change that and say, okay, y'all look, it's we good. got COVID. Right. And then this is, and 
Believe me, when I tell you, people were watching. Yeah. People were watching. So something as simple as that, uh, all that falls in that pest control room because it's a live bug. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a very live bug. So that's when you get the fumigations and stuff like that. Um, I never, I, we, I do those fumigations a lot. I never actually put that information out there, um, who I do it for, anything like that. Uh, I kind of keep that definitely private, but it is actually happening. Um, so that is something that's going to actually take care of the situation in your home. It is a surface viricide that is getting put out. Only a viricide can take care of a virus. Boom. That's it. Dude. So all of that stuff, yeah, it's not we stay grounded, we get us straight from above, we stay rooted, we stay rooted in love, we stay grounded, we get us straight from above, we stay rooted, we stay rooted in love, we stay grounded, we get us straight from above, we stay rooted, rooted, stay rooted, we stay rooted, we stay rooted in love, in love, we stay rooted.